Modeling frame structures should be very familiar as it is similar to any other type of model and is done in the same Part Studio tab. You can use other features like the whole feature, move face, and mirror and pattern features to modify the geometry as needed. Let's take a look. If the segments should have cuts or holes within the geometry, you can sketch and quickly create these features just like any other part. You can also adjust the length of segments by using the Move Face feature. If you need to extend or cut down a segment and do not have geometry to trim with, use the Move Face feature. Select Offset or Translate and the end face of the segment. Then input the dimension to adjust it by. If there is other geometry to trim by, use the Frame Trim feature instead. This is explored in the next video. Frame structures that are symmetric can take advantage of using mirror and pattern features to model more segments. Create one leg or side of the structure, then use the mirror or pattern features to quickly create more segments. Be sure to set the option to part and the boolean operator to new. If you cannot use the default reference planes as the mirror plane, you can define implicit mate connectors within the mirror feature. Use an edge of an existing segment to find the center to mirror about. This makes it easy to define the structure without having to add more planes or other features. If you would like to split a large segment to several smaller segments, split the underlying sketch or curve. Within a sketch, use the Sketch Split tool to split the sketch entity into smaller ones. If the driving entity for the frame segment is a curve, use the Split feature to split the curve. Set the Split option to Part. Select the curve or plane and the entity to split with. OnShape groups the identical segments together to count how many are needed when the Cut List feature is used. We will learn more about this in the Defining the Cut List lesson.